two big wrestlers from 167. One's a senior, that's Wilson. Shippos is a junior. Shippos undefeated for the season, 33 and 0. And uh, Wilson has, uh, is 30 and 1. Talking about uh, the football players and the football connection, both of these players are football players. Shippos was a, is a quarterback and an inside linebacker. Wilson plays football and baseball besides wrestling. Wilson uh, has, a, has a great book on him. He's got uh, prospects in both baseball and wrestling. Lehigh, Slippery Rock, Oklahoma State, and Ithaca are looking at him for wrestling. And for baseball, Oklahoma State, Ithaca, Florida State, and Hofstra are looking at him. So uh, he's got a couple of choices he can make. No score in the 167-pound weight division with 45 seconds to go in period number one. Section 11 versus Section 8. Another Long Island final here. I think you see as the uh, we get heavier now we you know we talk about strength and quickness you'll probably see more throws with the heavier guys because they can get that momentum going their weight going one way or the other nice takedown two points for Wilson there scoring the first points of the bout that's the end of the period Both wrestlers had to earn their way in the finals. Wilson with a 7-4, 5-4, and 6-4 decisions to get here in his three bouts. Shippos, on the other hand, had a 4-2 win, an 11-4 victory, and a pin in his bouts to get here. He's got one point escape. Nice sit out, and uh, Wilson tried to snap him down, and Shippos kept on moving on him. And we're at 2-1 for two more points, so it's four to one now. Wayne Wilson, the man on top, as you look at him right there, he's also on top as far as the scoreboard goes, four to one. And they're out of bounds. I think the referee just said something to Wilson about, he gave him a little pop on the top uh, over here at the uh, end of the match. I think, you know, it was just a, you know, does the referee tries to keep things under control. There's no, nothing illegal about it. He just doesn't want things to get out of hand. And the referees for this bout, Jerry Wright and Fred Brown. Oh, uh, how much of a factor does the, uh, the assistant referee have in all this? Does he have much say? He is more or less watching for, you know, we talked about locking hands. A lot of times the official cannot, you know, all of a sudden they turn the other way and he can't see it. You notice they always try to stay opposite each other so that they can watch. Uh, the referee is really in charge. He's the one that makes the calls. Uh, he might uh, ask his opinion on something. Uh, the, if the assistant referee might, you know, have some type of signal, say, hey, this guy, I think this guy is stalling or something else, but the, uh, Referee makes all the decisions. And that again would be Jerry Wright. Wilson's got him on his back. A nice cradle move. Nice three count. He's trying to get those hips over and get a little momentum going. Nice ground shot there. There you see the coaches for Steve Shippos. See the vantage point they have for this bout. Shippos is trying to. You notice the official the bottom. Right. You notice the official did not signal the points, even though Shippos was still not on his back. Wilson didn't get the three points until he broke broke the cradle. 
and uh, you have to break the pinning combination in order to get your points. Nearing the end of the second period, and Wayne Wilson has a big 7-1 to one lead. I think you also notice a lot of these heavier guys you uh, can be quite surprised at how agile they are, uh, the way they move around. So there is some quickness along with that. Uh, oh, yeah, with well, that much. strength, there's that quickness and agility. And, you know, we talked earlier about football players and uh, other sports. Uh, they help each other out. You, you know, in order to be a good wrestler, you know, body awareness and agility is a, can be a key factor. Final period of the 167-pound weight division. And at 7-1, to one, Steve Shippos is trailing Wayne Wilson. Wayne Wilson is definitely in control here. He's on the bottom. Uh, he's ahead by six points. It's going to be difficult for Shippos to, uh, you know, get that back. Wilson, uh, in one of his earlier tournaments this year, and was uh, voted most outstanding wrestler of a meet. He also won league matches four times down on the island. You tell how he puts his hand out there. That's a freestyle method of uh, uh, wrestling. You know, when you're on bottom in freestyle, you don't have to do anything on the bottom. It's the top man. He has to uh, do everything. Uh, but you always have to keep yourself exposed. And that's a, you know, definitely a freestyle type of moves that uh, Wilson was doing or not doing on the bottom. Nice escape that time by Shippos. He increases his lead to eight to one. He's in complete control now. I think you'll see, uh, you'll see uh, Wayne Wilson stay aggressive, keep on moving. Nice trip. Whoa. That, to me, that's impressive. He gave him the two points. You know, you, you see how he asked the uh, 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 assistant referee whether you know he was in or out and the uh, assistant referee had signaled yes he was definitely in before you know before uh, they hadn't gone out of bounds he had them take down before they did one out of bounds how difficult is that to trip somebody like that it's more of again we're talking about quickness it's more that he just you know uh, had caught Shippos off were off balance and kicked the leg out that he was had most of his weight on uh, you don't see it a lot a lot of trips because you first of all you got to be in close and second of all in order for you to throw your leg in to throw a trip, you've got to put all your weight on your leg, so therefore you're off balance. 10 to 1 with a minute to go in the match. And Wayne Wilson is in control here. He's definitely looking sharp. Shippos uh, is, is on the bottom. It's difficult to be offensive when you're in that position, trailing by as many points as he is. And he hasn't really looked like he's going to get any points out of it. In other words, it hasn't been close, and, you know, they've gone out of bounds, or he almost got it, and they got, you know, gain, regained control. Uh, I would have to say that Wayne Wilson has dominated this match and kept uh, Steve Shippos under control. There have been a couple of uh, bouts tonight, Doug, where we've had a a vast difference in score. What do you make of that? Is it just a domination of one wrestler or what? I, I think, it, you know, it could be a domination of wrestlers. It also could be, you know, an off day. It could be a mental edge. It could be a lot of things that could affect. Uh, but some, you know, some wrestlers are just, you know, that much better. Wayne Wilson's clearly that much better today. He wins 10-2 to 2 over Steve Shippos. So Section 11's senior from Holtzville, New York, Wayne Wilson is your winner in the 167-pound weight class. Five, seven, seven.